What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Rapid Crafter, and I don't think you guys are ready for this video. So a YouTuber by the name of Rustic Games BR uploaded two separate videos, and each of these videos takes place in a separate part of Resident Evil 4. One of these videos takes place in that little house where when you go outside, you see a chainsaw ganado. And the other video takes place during the first El Gigante boss fight. I don't think you guys are ready for this. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, boom. So what you're looking at here is Resident Evil 4 on the PlayStation 1. No, I'm joking. It's not actually on the PlayStation 1. But if Resident Evil 4 was made during that era, then this is simply what it would look like. Now, we're all used to Resident Evil 4 just the way it is. Resident Evil 4 is considered a masterpiece. If you go up to an average Resident Evil fan and ask them, hey, what is your favorite Resident Evil game? 80 to 90% are probably going to say Resident Evil 4. This game defined the genre. It changed survival horror forever. And even though I don't consider Resident Evil 4 a survival horror game, which will be a separate video, it is a horror game with action elements. And sometimes I wonder, what would Resident Evil 4 be if it wasn't for Shinji Mikami? This man stepped in and completely saved the franchise. People don't realize that at the time when Resident Evil 4 was being made, Resident Evil wasn't doing the greatest. Resident Evil Zero didn't sell too much, at least when you compare it to the other Resident Evil games. And the Resident Evil 2002 remake only sold a certain amount of copies due to the fact that the game was exclusive on the GameCube. It's always interesting to see a new perspective of Resident Evil 4. A lot of us are awaiting the Resident Evil 4 remake, but what if the game that we got was completely different? What if Capcom didn't utilize the modern technology that they had at the time? What if the game had a completely different director? What if Shinji Mikami didn't direct this game? It's always interesting to see alternate possibilities. And looking at this gameplay just excites me. Resident Evil 4 is my favorite video game of all time. And every time I see a new fan remake or a fan mod, it always excites me. I am excited for the remake, but the Resident Evil community is very creative. I mean, people have done so many different fan projects. I mean, hey, a fan or fans of Resident Evil 4 literally spent months working on the HD project, which is probably by far the most successful Resident Evil project ever. So this community is extremely dedicated, and the guy that made this right here did a fantastic job. And you may not believe me, but looking at this right here only excites me. I love video games with old graphics, and I love video games with new graphics. Sometimes I wonder, what is the Resident Evil 4 remake going to look like? I'm excited for the future of Resident Evil, but now I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about this gameplay? And are you excited for the Resident Evil 4 remake? But that has been it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch all of you in the next one.